TGIF, and happy Friday to everyone. It is March 31st, 2023. Thanks for joining us here. This is a special edition of CBS News Philadelphia at 9 o'clock. My name is William, taking the place of my auntie, Natasha Brown. She left me in charge. We begin this news today as... A person gets shot on the 52nd Street train station platform. So we're being told that people got off of the train as of right now, but nobody else is allowed to go inside 52nd Street train station at this point. We want to thank my sister, Jasmine Payute, for covering that news story. Being on the market Frankfurt line is tough. Yes, it is, but you have to be careful and be aware of your own surroundings. That is a very good point I just made. No questions being asked. Let's turn to our development story right now. We do know Donald Trump is the first president to be charged with a crime in the United States. He's been indicted in a case surrounding his alleged role for his false re records that he did over the years. With more on that, let's turn to my future anchor lady, my aunt, Jan Carabello. Good morning to you, Auntie Jan. Take it away. Wow. Democrats are very, very, very cool. And we're on the blue side, no matter what may happen to Donald Trump. All right. Thank you for the details and information, Auntie Jan. Now let's take a look at the top local stories we're also following for you on this Friday. We have some breaking news from overnight. Authorities are investigating a police involved shooting that took place in Berks County. That happened yesterday afternoon, and law enforcement sources explained that the suspects accidentally shot the men because they were laughing at him. You shouldn't laugh at something stupid like that. What is wrong with people today? Also breaking, according to sources, they say there was a deadly police-involved shooting At the scene of the crime. So this all took place at 9th and Spring Streets. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Tonight is going to be a vigil for the factory explosion victims. And the blast happened one week ago. 
So it's going to take its place at 730 at the West Reading, Pennsylvania Fire Department. And a vigil happened for a young man who goes by the name of Devin Whedon. That's where hundreds of people released balloons and they were red, black, and white. Those are the colors of not only South Philadelphia High School, but the other high school in the nice town neighborhood. It's known as Simon Gratz High School. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back with more of the special edition of CBS News Philadelphia at 9 o'clock. I shall return in a few minutes. 